Hello and welcome back to Rimworld. My name is Kalan and welcome to the Rebel Base, where this d this den of scum and villainy is actually doing really well. Uh, we have ourselves essentially a power-free issue. We're, we're doing well for power. We've got food. We have people. We've recently got Jackie back on board after she had a mental breakdown earlier, but hopefully that's not going to happen again because we're in a much better situation. And we're starting our perimeter defense lines. So, yay? <laughs> I think we're going okay. I think we're doing okay. Things to do today. One, make sure our power's stable. Two, give Anatoly a new room. Three, try and wish Anna like the best withdrawal she can get. Uh, and four, I noticed that Katrina actually is an ascetic, I believe. That how you pronounce that? She prefers to live in a room that's not too impressive. She also dislikes fancy food and prefers to eat raw and uh, and raw food won't bother her a bit. Won't both her a bit. Um, but she's actually in one of the nicest rooms, or one of the planned to be nicest rooms, because it's got these uh, really nice uh, sandstone tiles. So I'm going to swap her room with Simrex and hope they don't notice. For now, though, let's continue on. We also have the cold snap happening, and if this power runs out by the end before the night's over. That, especially with Roop going mental, because uh, he's rebuffed by Katrina, and yeah, he's just kind of throwing his stuff on the floor. He's still got three bits of clothing on, actually. He should be okay. But if this room, if we run out of power, this room's going to get very cold very quickly, which is not going to be good for us. Hopefully, Roop will survive until... Okay, it seems the power's starting to kick back in now. That's good. Okay. Okay, and this is now Simrex's, and this is now Katrina's. This is planned... Oh. See, this is meant to be not that impressive. It is at the moment not that impressive because of all the blood. However, when it's fully clean... Okay, yeah, if it's the same as Goldie's, it should be about 0.5, which is fine because this is the moment... I'm not sure where the, the, where the boundary is. I'm not sure how... Uh, how good it has to be before she gets annoyed. Unfortunately, we don't, we don't have any really good rooms to check it with. In fact, she's in the best room right now. She could have that room, I guess. Uh, okay, for now, let's continue. <clears throat> we need to get our really what I want to happen is this stone cutters tables to start being used unfortunately the stockpile's really far away starvation Roop. well if he'd stop running around like an idiot we'd, we'd be fine but that's what he's doing for now oh Simrex what's wrong you just you're just not having a good day. Okay, that's fine. You are going an odd way around. <laughs> and he sounds like, nah, you ain't getting in. Good. I'm glad you took that really, really short route around to build one piece of wall. Good job, Simrex. Uh, okay, we've got lots of things going on. Jackie should be cleaning and hauling. Cleaning being a, a priority. Yes, okay, there we go. We've got rooms which aren't that bad. Mostly are clean. Anna's needs a bit of cleaning and so does Ignis isn't. Innies, but for now, I'm happy with how Jackie's going. I'm really happy Jackie's back with us because just all the, the more people that can clean that can clean and haul. Oh, that makes me fat. Makes me really happy. Same with oh no, Anatoly can't. No. Okay, things are starting to be built, and there's not much I need to really do about it. I'm happy, and for now, kind of letting people do do what they can to continue. Is this roofed yet? This is not roofed. That's what we need to do. Okay, that is actually meant to be roofed. So when we have the time, this will become roofed. We'll all be happy. Uh, let's change the home zone. We want to include this. We don't want to have this as our home zone. Uh, let's change it to just slice one layer off. Just so we don't have people going outside to clean the outside. Like this water, we do not need to clean. Major rate risk. Roop again. Oh, well, yeah, he's just come out of a break. So hopefully he gets enough food in him to go and sleep. I'm going to be fine. Oh, the cold snap's over. Oh, wow, okay, fine. I thought that cold snap was going to do as much more damage than it did. We should start draining less power as well and other heaters can kind of stabilise. All right, well, that was a full day of me doing almost nothing. People are just getting on with stuff. Uh, can I actually, if the power's on... I don't want you to use this. Can I not just... I can't unallow that. Because this electric stove is... It's not burning wood. And whilst we have quite a lot of wood now, and obviously there's a lot of wood out there, we don't want to just waste a resource like that. How are you doing, Katrina? Oh god, you are fine. You are absolutely fine. Good. 
This room's fine, just checking everything. Katrina, one thing I didn't notice as well is that Katrina is, oh no, she's not a night owl, sorry. She it was the ascetic thing. Why is she working so late at night? Oh, I guess she just, she's had her rest. Okay. Now uh, this is indoors, good. So this is, occasionally you'll see it bursting steam out, the temperature skyrockets and it gets vented out here. That's gonna be very good for us keeping this power down. Right. What I want to do is actually unforbid those so they can actually build. Unforbid this. Now we've got the battery set up. How much steel do we have left? None of it. No. Did we honestly use everything? Have we still got stuff out there to collect? We do still have stuff out here to collect, but none of it is steel. Okay, we are mining some now. We've got some mining going on. Fantastic. Once these are built up here, as so we go to the power grid, I want to have it so that it's not connected down here. Uh, connected there, sorry. So if we could just deconstruct, uh, not the wooden wall, but the power conduit. Because we want eventually this to be self-sustaining. These power, as I said before, these are going to generate power for this. And then when it gets to night, they'll turn off. I don't want it to be a case where... Oh, thank you, Winnie-san. Uh, you're going to... I mean, you could just... I mean, you really could have just finished them off. Okay, thank you. Uh, so now, they're in a situation where all we need to do is cut the wire down here. And this should be self-contained. Um, I'm clicking on the wrong things. Yeah. That will all be self-contained. Heaters. Oh, the heaters. We actually don't want to be part of that network. Okay. The heaters need to be on at all times. So we're going to put that there. And we are going to deconstruct the power conduits along here. And there. And along to there. So... We're going to toggle the power for this, reconnect it. This one's connected fine, this one's connected fine, this one is connected to there. No, that's not that's not favourable. Um, I'm going to do that, and then hopefully that will reconnect to there, because it's closer. Yeah. Good work, Simrex. Okay, and then we press the reconnect button. Uh, oh, it's connected to that now. There we go. Good. Excellent. Okay, fantastic. All right. Uh, we do want these set up. How are we doing for steel? It is coming in now. Fantastic. But, we, but I'd rather work on... Really, I want people to use the stone cutters table. I need bricks. The reason why I want bricks is because well, having a perimeter wall is fantastic. Having it made out of wood is dumb. We need, if they use grenades, Molotovs, their fists, they'll break through that wall relatively quickly. We want a solid outer wall of, say, granite. Maybe even a double thick outer wall of granite. And we have plenty of rocks to turn into stone, but we've got nobody doing it at the moment. Inisan, I think, is our, our top dog in this respect. He's also tailoring. I think what I want to do is I want is Jackie got a passion in it? She does. Any Hassan has a really good passion in it, but I'd rather he do the crafting because that doesn't matter. That like skill isn't evolved in crafting. You just make blocks. It just takes you a bit longer if you're not as good as it. Whereas when we're making clothes, we want the best clothes possible. We want Jackie to do that. <gasps> oh, pardon me. So then get rid of any doing the tailoring. Although he does have to finish that one. Okay, when he's finished that bit of clothing, I'm going to get rid of any doing the tailoring, and instead I'm going to get him just crafting. Can you please prioritize that, though? Then you can do that. Jackie's still cleaning. I don't think... I think we've cleaned the base up enough right now that I don't need you on a one. I'd rather you did some other things. Although if there's any blood lying around, that'd be great. <laughs> You've chosen odd place to go and have a meal, Jackie. Okay, good work to any rare thrombos. We're gonna ignore them because rare thrombos are horrible. There's only one of them, but even so. Oh, we still have stuff to bring in. Just from all over the place. Uh, we've brought in majority of things. I th Ooh. Uh, okay, there's ground blocks. We've always been there. Goldie is generally our hauler, and he's doing pretty well. But at the moment, he's going for the steel here, whereas I kind of would like him to focus on other things. 
But steel, 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 getting that in is fantastic. I can actually unforbid these now. Mana break risk Goldie. Go and rest then, my friend. You've been insulted. What is wrong with our <laughs> half our the most colonies you get in Rimworld? You got one or two people that don't like each other, and that's it. Half our colony hates the other half. It's actually like there's a lot of red. Apparently Simrex hates Jackie, but Jackie loves Sim Simrex. Jackie slighted him. Oh, of course. Jackie loves Simrex because Simrex was the one that built rapport up to recruit her. Yeah. How long is that debuff of eight raw human-like meat going to last? Because a lot of people have done that. Jesus, Jackie is not liked. Poor Jackie. She's only It's only because she's got an annoying voice. The thing is, <clears throat> the annoying voice isn't actually that big a bit a, a debuff. If you go to Goldie and look at Jackie, it's only a minus 25, which was it's quite big. What it means is they actually then generally insult you and slight you because they don't already like you. Um, I'm actually not choosing very good people to portray that. There you are, slighted for minus five. So, poor Jackie's going to have a hard time of it in general for a while. Is that all set up? That is connected. Excellent. Good, 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 good. Goldie, you'll minor break wrist whilst in bed, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Ugly environment? Oh, you tracked some dirt in. What if you wipe your feet before you came in? So the thing with dirt is, when you're walking around outside, you I think there's a chance you just pick it up on, on the bottom of your feet. And the second you go into a place that's meant to be clean, you have a chance of depositing that. The reason why everyone's room's getting dirty is because this is all just pure dirt. It's one of the reasons why I want to get more stone blocks, so I can make it into a, nice, a really nice kind of social area to hang out. So I don't think I need these two pillars here. I'm pretty sure I can get away with those. And that will open up a bit more space so I can actually do things in the middle. And it also lets a bit more light in. Yeah, I like that, actually. I think we've got enough power now. We're, we're doing quite well with power. I do want to make more solar generators, actually. Um, just because I'm so worried about having no power. And I want to have a light here and a light here. My break risk, Goldie, whilst asleep, again. I'm not really sure how it's happening, but fair enough. Any... I told you not to, but can you please prioritise that? Then Jackie can become our full-time tailor. Excellent work. Getting this built up. Basically, we want it so these batteries are like almost never empty. These are putting a lot of work in to keep this lot up. So when I turn these off, cut that connection and get it on the farm, I uh, will need some more power necessary to survive. You got enough steel? Oh, I've got plenty of steel. Components? 55. We're doing well. One colonist idle. Oh, Anatoly. What's wrong? What can you not do? You've got a lot of things you can do. How many meals have you got? 13. Well, let's do until we have 20, because we actually have quite a large amount of people now in our colony. I'll, <coughs> I'll give him something to do for now. What else is he... Is he good at mining? Ah, uh, we were out of mining to do. Okay, I'll get some more mining done. There we go. We'll see how far that goes. Actually, just do a little road in, just see if there's anything else in there. We don't want to get rid of this, though, because this is really helpful. Like, this is a good a bulwark against attacks, especially if we're going to funnel people this way and they have to go past the graves. In fact, and that case whilst we're thinking about it can we cut all plants here we're going to eventually make this so there's no cover for anybody what we're going to have we're going to have a front line of defense and if we get overrun we can fall back into our base to this narrow gap and have say turret station to delay the enemy whilst they shoot the turrets turrets probably die if it's a bad attack but then we can set up another defense over here maybe with some uh, where are they with some deadfall traps a suspended spiked weight held up by a delicate trigger. When a victim disturbs the trigger, the weight is released and falls onto its head or torso. Oh, yeah. Okay, fantastic. We set those solar generators up really quickly. Exor uh, who's, this? who's doing this? Is this Jackie? Inisan. Oh, for Christ's sake, he started a new one. 
Uh, can we cancel that? There we go, we're going to cancel that one. Uh, and we're going to take any off that. He shouldn't be doing it anyway. There's plenty of research to be done. Yeah, yeah. There's plenty of stuff he can be doing. Simrex and Anatoly. Simrex, you're never idle. There's no construction repairing growing. Really? Is that off? Oh, whoops. Can you not plant the cotton? Uh, cotton plant? You should be able to plant. I'd... Can you please go and plant it? Like, you you are a grower. You not you are you are a grower. No, that's construction. I'm a dumb. He's still a grower though. Ah, but he's only a five. And this is strawberry, which he can actually do. Uh, he should be able to do anyway. Strawberry plant is yeah, it's minimal minimal skill five in growing, and Simrex is a five in growing. I'm a little bit lost as to why he can't do anything. If I'm honest. Um, maybe it's not. It's definitely the right temperature. It's actually too warm in here. I guess it's from the steam vents. It's actually fine for us. It means these aren't using any power whatsoever. I may even be able to disc, uh, uh, scrap them later. Why are we not? I don't understand why we're not growing things. Never mind. We're all asleep for now. That will surely come to me, or you guys will tell me in the in the comments. Why, for some reason, we are refusing to plant crops? Hmm. Is he restricted? No, he's unrestricted. I'm actually going to just... I'm going to... I'm thinking it's like the other tools. I'm going to remove all this. I trust that you guys know when you want to... A, kind of go to sleep, and B... Well, not sleep. I, I'm going to have like a constant at least five hours at night time. But I, I want to, you, you know when you're going to work and when you're going to have your joy. I don't want to force that. Especially to my interrupt some other why, other tasks. Okay. Zone. Uh, let's expand this to here. In fact, we're doing... This stockpile zone has nothing in it now. That's perfect. Actually, what is the status of this room? Almost, almost not that bad. It's just got some dirt in it. Ah, oh, good stuff. Ignis working away. He is our main researcher, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. And he should be going up now. Oh, look how fast he learns. He's amazing. Good. Okay. We've put off the building of Anatoly's room for a little bit too long now. And I want to put it up. I don't like the layout of these rooms. I think they could be a lot more... A lot better designed, should we say. Also, I feel like far too much of my base is open to the sky. I'm tempted to have this as our common room and put in some more joy items and then move these production items to the back of this storeroom. So with that in mind, I'm going to put a room at the back here this is going to be our production room and that leaves us enough room to get around I have a door in there a door at the top and then we can just kind of go hop in and hop out and that means i'm also going to have this room store is this that's preferred this is normal good and i also have this store the this also really mm, i wanted to store bricks stone chunks I think I'm going to go store a specific kind of chunk. We've got sandstone, limestone, and granite. Granite's the one I want. So if we go into this, we're going to make it store granite chunks. And then we're going to kind of not haul those. Interesting. Oh, it's because they're already in a storage zone. They don't want to be hauled, even though that one is more preferred. Interesting. Okay. Well, for now I can't do those granite chunks there. I can do the granite chunks over here. Well, that's far too many. All those. Good. They'll go in there. In fact, how is our hauling doing from this site? Still tons out there that people aren't hauling. Ah. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> right next to our base? 
Oh god. Okay, so a mysterious crash piece of spaceship. A mysterious crash piece of a spaceship. It may contain exotic materials, computers, even AI personas. This kind of technology can be dangerous. You know why it's dangerous? Because Robotic aliens live inside it. You know what else these poison ships do? Kill plants within a radius around it. And you know where it happens to land? Uh, we don't have enough food to have that happen. Is this turned off? Oh, I'm a dumbass. I disallowed sewing. Oh, I'm a complete dumbass. There we go. Got it, guys. You probably all shouted at me, but hey, we got it. We got it. <laughs> In the end. I need to attack this really quickly. And I don't really want to use wood for it because they'll come out there with potential flame weapons. Oh dear. Okay. Why is that in there? Is that from there from ages ago? Could potentially be. Okay. We don't need to kill it straight away. It takes a while to kind of rev up. But whilst it is there, does it have a negative effect on us? Yes, it has a psychic drone. So not only does it do what I said before. It also negatively impacts our mood, so the sooner we engage with this, the better. Inny, where are you? You're asleep. How long until you're awake? Ooh, got some love in. Uh, can you please go to this? And I want this. Oh, we have 44 chunks, really? Oh! oh! We have more granite blocks! Yay! Someone's been busy. For now, we're just gonna go for granite. Can you, can you move a bit faster? Thank you. Anna, you are never going to be recruited. 82%! Oh, wow. Her right kidney was destroyed. I assume that's from the Psychettes? I guess. Maybe. Oof. Rebuffed by Simrex. Oh, 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 poor. Poor Anna. She still doesn't like the joy. When she's recruited, she's going to be so much happier. Can somebody give... Anna Tolly, thank you very much. One colonist idol, it is the man indeed. Um, I'm going to put you as a four for growing, uh, not constructing and repairing. So if you know, if you can, you can. And that's it. What's your, your shooting's not bad, and your shooting is bad. In fact, you don't have a weapon, that is a very good point. <clears throat> We're soon going to go and attack things, and we want you to have these EMP grenades. It's definitely a reason why we kept those. Do we have any more MP grenades? We don't know. Katrina, what's your shooting like? Not very good. If you're not a brawler or anything, no. So you're going to have these frag grenades. Actually, which one's better? 79, 97. Roop, how are you doing? Actually, going to get you on those as well. Actually, well, let's look at the rest of our characters. So we've got shooting is six. We're definitely not doing melee. I don't even, don't even know what we'd be thinking about doing melee. Six, 12 for shooting, 14, seven. Jackie, can you have these grenades, please? Anatole and Katrina, okay, so Root, you're actually not too bad. Thank you very much. And we want you to get this shotgun. Okay. <clears throat> I realise in this time we have not actually started. Oh, good work. I heard I heard it, Inny. Oh, the blocks. 84. That might be enough to, for us to make some defences, actually. But yeah, we still haven't done Anatoly's room. I realise this, and Anatoly has told me he's fine with it. <laughs> he's got a spacious interior, so there you go. And it is a comfortable bed. Uh, I don't know why, but it's apparently a comfortable bed. Oh, that's good. Strawberries. Okay. Granite blocks. We want to be fairly far away. We're not too far away. We can't throw grenades. Let's just get some defences lined up. Right there. Uh, we still want a bit further away, actually. And then... And... Here. So we want the solid granite walls to block the majority of the shots. And then we want the... Sandbags in between... To provide protection. And in fact, we want to be able to flank them as well. So if we... Do a few more of those walls up to here... And then... Maybe one across the top there. We can always just deconstruct this later on to get our materials back. Thank you, Roop. Good work, Goldie. Cutting those down. Anna has gone berserk. Okay. Uh, who's... A, what's your melee like? Your melee of one. What's Who's got a better melee? Jackie, Just can you just go and beat her down? In fact... 
jacking Katrina. Don't use your grenades, please. But just go and punch to death. Not to death. That's a lie. Don't. Not to death. But just punch her. <laughs> Sim looks like, yeah, I'll just repair the door. In fact, Sim, old buddy, you can you can melee attack as well. Just just go your side. I mean, at any point, getting through would be great. No, okay. How about we move you back and move you here and go there? Okay, I was hoping she'd come out to join us. Okay, go, 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 team. Are they all attacking? I don't even know. There we go. Alex, Anna's berserk rage has come to an end. If that's the fighting prowess we show in uh, taking on the poison ship, I'm sure we'll be fine. Can somebody please thank you, Jackie? Good. Okay, I'm back to what we were doing beforehand. Okay, we've got this set up. That's good. Is this roofed? Uh, I think it must be. Can I get another row? Yep, okay, fantastic. We want to move these. Unfortunately, you can't just move them. You have to deconstruct them and reconstruct them. So what we're going to do is we're going to deconstruct this. In fact, actually, that might make, might make sense. If we have... Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. But if we have a door there, we can just hold these... These uh, chunks straight to there and then into here. Yeah, so that makes sense. Okay, let's deconstruct this and reconstruct it. So we've got an electric tailing bench. We will need to put some electricity. Oh, actually, no, it reaches there. That's fine. We've got the stone cutter table. And we have... We want the research bench to be in here too. We also want this place to, n to not be that shabby because people are going to spend quite a bit of time in there. And which if we're gonna leave it, uh, no, no, we'll do we'll do wooden floors. Wooden floors are decent. Okay, and as always, mosaic around the side. And then let's have. Can we have something a bit fancy? And then maybe that lot there. That could look disgusting. Who knows? <laughs> Great. Can we please? Um, Goldie, where are you? Can you please make sure that things bleed free? Because I don't want anybody getting any um, any diseases, any infections. Thank you, Goldie. Just clean all that up. I mean, you missed some blood. Thank you. Major rate risk. Some Rex. Really? Why? Hungry, ate raw food. Oh, crap. Oh, it's, we've, it's, we've done it again. <laughs> we've only gone and done it again. Okay. <clears throat> right, so... Oh, God damn it. You look away for a second and poof, all your food is gone. Goldie, I want you to come out here. Who else we got? Who else can haul at the same time? Jackie and Katrina. Uh, Jackie's doing that. Katrina is asleep. Okay, great. Uh, let's get Ignis as well. Sowing a strawberry plant. That's not going to be uh, to us in time. So come down here and please kill this breaker. <gasps> oh no! I've never even seen this happen. They didn't, they weren't even with each other. They just both decided, like like psychically, whilst they're apart. Nah, fuck this. He's still <laughs> and he's still happy because he got some loving, but they're not together anymore. That's a shame, and that means we're out of bed. Huh. Hmm. I did. I never even suspected this might happen. Ooh. <laughs> okay. We'll um. For now, we'll put a bed in here. Can you please prioritise that? Oh dear. Well, you know that's just a shame, really. But it happens. Can we please get killed? Good. Go over there. And um, actually, just just. Can you actually just hold that in? You are already holding it. Okay, fine. I was wondering why you uh, were refusing. I mean, Ignis, you're meant to be the best shot. I mean, unless you're just practicing, because with each shot, his experience does go up. Oh, those going down as well. 
Does it naturally decay? Hey, you tagged it. Good job. Now drive in close range. I mean, come on. This is a little bit ridiculous. Are you worse at close range? Actually touch short, medium, long. He might be a little bit too far away. So, uh, too close. This is quite depressing, actually. Uh, good. Uh, keep it up, Ignis. You got this. I'm at mental break, sad wonder. Katrina's feeling terrible. Uh, this is not the time. Goldie, can you please... Where's the the Ibex Ram we just hauled in? Eight raw food. Eight raw food. Oh, for Christ's sake. No one decided, no one thought to cook it? <sighs> okay, we're going to finish with Ignis actually getting this kill. Please hit. Hey, well done, mate. You are really good then. I'm so proud. Okay. <laughs> Anna has gotten food poisoning from rice. I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> oh, this kibble just sits there taunting me as well. Okay, so guys, this is it for this episode. I'm just all over the place. Don't even know. Thank you very much for watching. Next episode, we're going to take out the poison ship. We're going to stabilize our food production because we should not have run out. That was my bad. And we'll finally get the rest of the fences set up with these lovely bricks that Inisan is creating. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you then. Bye!